Hey, you guys. So, it's been a minute. <laughs> yeah, when I say it's been a minute, I mean, um, Happy New Year's, Happy Merry Christmas, Happy Thanksgiving, and Happy Halloween. <laughs> yeah, it's been that long. So, what's been going on? It's been probably four four months ish if not more i hope not more <laughs> but it's been about four months since we last spoke and i've t was raving to you guys about how i'm starting my book and you know how everything's going great and that um i'm excited for what i've been doing and hopefully i can share with you guys my project soon <laughs> and you know that just didn't go as planned i'm just gonna start by that start from the beginning um last year starting january 1st um that was my new year's resolution was to start and finish my book um i've been writing ever since high school um well, middle school, um, I, I can remember all the way back from probably sixth, sixth, seventh grade ish that um, me and my best friend, we would write books together. Um, well, short stories together. And we had made a little club and we would assign a little project for a couple of our friends um, every every week. And we would write a story about it and everything. So that's probably going a little bit too far back. But yeah, you guys get the gist. I've been writing for a while. And the last year I wanted to, you know, get back into that and actually complete a, a book. Um, I've In high school, I wrote a book and I finished it. Um, I just lost the file. But um yeah, I'm I'm ranting, I'm ra rambling, <laughs> can't even talk. I set that goal, and I said to myself that by the end of the year, December 2017, I would have the book finished, and I would start the publishing process in 2018. Um, I would get into the business of everything and the marketing and all of that starting 2018 and that didn't work out as planned at all <laughs> um between those 12 months i accomplished two and a half chapters and that's ridiculous and i'm coming on to the camera and telling you guys because you know i i failed and i need to you know Put it out there because if anything, um, what's that phrase? Failure is the best motivator. Um, you guys get the gist. If if you don't get it, um, I'll probably correct myself later <laughs> when I figure it out. Yeah, so I failed, um, and I kept coming up with excuses on why I failed, um. Basically, um, in the beginning of the year, I just kept putting it off. And then near May-ish, my laptop had broke. Um, and I went without a laptop for about three three or four months, maybe. And in that time period, um, I was writing in a notebook. And when I finally got a new laptop, I just kept putting off transferring everything I put in the notebook onto paper and when I finally did um I write big so when I wrote it on the laptop it it turned out to be a lot less than what I thought it was so um yeah that that was that was embarrassing to myself and I'm gonna put that out there um yeah I felt like that I failed that bad and 
when I realized that I didn't write that much came August and October, um, I still kept with my determination to finish, well, not determination, um, delusion. <laughs> I kept with my delusion to finish a book, knowing it would be multiple, multiple chapters, multiple pages, it's going to be a thick book, thick. And I still kept with this fantasy that I would actually finish it by the end of the year. Half the year had, over half of the year already passed. And I came on camera, told you guys that I'm so excited and happy about this book and everything. And in real, in real life, it was nowhere near finished. At that time, I was probably at chapter one. And I was... I was at a um brain fart. <laughs> I was at a brain fart. Um blocked mentally and imagination. Um everything was blocked and I, I, I don't know why. It just happens. Distractions happen very easily. So between now and August I accomplished a chapter and a half. Um Writing isn't as easy as as it seems. It's difficult. It's um it's stressful, it's difficult and you know, if you have the if you want to be a author or a writer or if you have the artistic mentality, you'd understand. Because for some reason, um we're all perfectionists, and I I can honestly say the main reason it takes me so long to finish two and a half chapters is because I'm a perfectionist, and I go over the chapter over and over. Um, one day I can spend a whole day typing one page, and it's not because I'm typing slow, because I, I took typing classes in high school. Um, it's because I'm deleting and editing and starting over probably thousands of times. Um, probably exaggerating, probably not. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm going to wrap up this rant soon. <laughs> Basically... I've been watching a YouTuber, um, a couple of YouTubers, um, writing YouTubers, they're authors, and some of them are editors, and some of them are publishers. I've been watching a couple of them, and my favorite, her name is Jenna Morassi. If you haven't heard of her, check her out. She's pretty cool. She's she's funny, and she's very educational, um, and she, she basically gave me the idea, um, she, she's been on this for a long time. This isn't my idea, but let me stress that out. This is not my idea, <laughs> but she's been doing this thing where she does quarterly goals every three or four months. Um, and I'm going to start that because I don't know why I've been so stupid to wait this long to start that, but I'm going to start doing that because if I set a couple of goals every three or four months and I finish them or I don't finish them. If I set them, tell you guys on camera and you know, if I pass them, I get to pat myself on the back and tell you guys on camera. And if I fail, then I have to embarrass myself and tell you guys on camera. And you know, that humility should teach me not to fail again on, and if I do, you know, I have to do it all over again, you know? Um, it's, it's It sounds like a really good method. And I'm going to try it out. And I'm going to um, start slow and work my way up. This quarter, um, from January to May, that's four months, I'm going to set one goal. And that would be, sorry, that will be to finish five chapters. So right now I'm at two and a half chapters. I'm going to round it up to three. 
So by May, May 1st, I want to finish up to chapter eight. And I'm gonna tell you guys if I finished it, if I haven't, I will tell you guys. Um, May 1st, May 2nd, May 3rd, it'll be the first week of May. I can't promise you when because, you know, I don't know why it's so hard for me to record these videos, but it is. <laughs> so I'm going to um, let you guys know when I finish um, these four cha um, five chapters. Um, and after that, you know, once May comes and I finish those, I'll let you guys know what my next goals are. It'll be either five more chapters or it'll be more than that. But um, let's see how this goes and that's about it for today um i'm about to get on my laptop and start writing away again um there's no excuse to you know not do something you plan to do there's no excuse to put your dream on hold and i've been doing that and i want to just let you guys know that there's no excuses. Don't make, make excuses for yourself. And that's all. All right. Bye.